Well, I work at the Art Museum as the Director of Education, and so my focus is always to find programs that will help students, whether it's a K-12 through student or a university student, forge a connection with art. We were dealing with a lot of um, athletes that wanted to talk about misperception. A lot of the athletes were saying, there's this misperception about who I am, that I'm only an athlete, I don't have any other aspects to my dimension. I thought it would be a good opportunity for us to highlight the work of these athletes and show how art can really make what is invisible visible. Um, I like art because it kind of just helps me express my, my thoughts, my feelings more. Because I'm, really I'm not really a talker, I'm not really open with my feelings all the time. So I kind of feel like I can express myself through my paintings, through my drawings, or whatever I'm, I'm putting on paper, you know. And um, I can't be judged by it unless somebody really asks me, like, what am I trying to get out of this, pic this picture? And then I kind of can just, like, tell my story through that. Uh, I think that's a different twist on life, I guess, if you really think about it. shapes and just enjoying the art. So I love having the control over it and you know just going on with my mind and just letting my hand go. Um, I remember the instructors took us to the art gallery and I saw this this painting that it was just so interesting to me because some of the some of the, the people in the painting were just really detailed and others were kind of unfinished. It helped me kind of just sit back and just try to get the full understanding of people and not try to look at their actions, but more so trying to look at their intentions and what they're trying to get out of themselves. We've been giving them a lot of practice exercises uh, where they've been looking at how fonts represent a personality. Um, I was asked to, you know, use my name. Um, kind of define, to draw a picture to define kind of who I am and today I drew a turtle and a flower and then I put my name in that and um, you know it was you know it was a lot of fun and with you know with art there's uh, just you have your own creativity that you know you can use and you know drive off of and that's, that's the best part so. I think that's probably what's been so most surprising is how focused they are. And it's also interesting to see the relationship. Being an athlete is very similar to being an artist. You have to think about sequence and process and always be one step ahead. So it's been interesting when you think about these two, you know, I, you know these identities that seem to be opposite, but really they have so much in common, art and athletics. <sighs> this art class kind of taught me that I guess I'm more creative, more artsy than I thought. I've never been able to like, sit down and just do art because I never thought I could do my productions were that great so I kind of just shied away from it but this class kind of helps me focus in and just put out what I want you know put out my thoughts my expressions and I think what I produce is actually pretty cool so I guess my creativity is higher than I thought it would be.